Good morning, first and fourth block, English Language Arts 9. It is day one, March 30th, 2020. We're doing online learning. Um, if you have not gone and checked the expectations for online learning that I've already posted, please go do that first. That is That should be above this assignment on the classwork tab. So once again, I want you to use the classwork tab as much as possible. The classwork tab makes everything easy. I'm gonna organize it in a way that's by week. And so it's gonna be easier to understand than maybe just your classroom stream. So again, classwork tab, classwork tab, classwork tab. All right, if you are watching this video, then you've already kind of found the order of operations that I want you to go in. The video is gonna come first, okay? I have the instructions posted on the assignment and then I'm gonna walk you through what I want you to do today, okay? Most days, that is going to be what I want you to do first is to check out the video. If you're having problems with the video, I'm trying to post it with a movie or as a movie file, and I'm also trying to post it on YouTube. I had our technology department um, unblock my YouTube channel, so that should be accessible to you all. Okay, so uh, if you're starting with the video, good. Here's what we're going to do today. We're going to read a little piece called Monkey See, Monkey Do, Monkey Connect, and honestly, it's only a little bit about monkeys, uh, although it is monkey relevant. Um, so if you're into monkeys, that's great. Here's what we're going to do today. Um, on the Ed platform, and if you remember how to log into the Ed platform, that is with the Clever portal. Click on Ed, your friend in learning. Under the Assignment tab, you will see an assignment that says Read uh, Student Edition, Monkey See, Monkey Do, Monkey Connect. Okay, That's where you're going to actually read the piece. Um, as you are reading that piece, what I want you to do is there are yellow boxes that pop up in the middle of the piece. Okay, one said, The first one says monitor comprehension. The next one says word gaps. The next one says uh, language conventions. The next one says monitor comprehension. There's a close read screen ca screencast that will help you kind of understand how uh, to more deeply interact with the text that you are reading. Uh, there's analyze an author's claim. There is analyze an, another analyze the author's claim. And as I'm scrolling through, there's another monitor comprehension uh, until you get to the end. So what I want you to do is as you are reading, I want you to take those little check marks, those signposts, and take a second to do whatever is being asked. Okay, some of that is highlighting and choosing a color for highlighting and some of that is you know actually typing in your response and so after you've done that I want you to go back to the assignment tab and I want you to uh, make sure that it says you are finished or that you're done so let me know that it's done on Ed okay so that's number one secondly after you're done reading it hopefully you fully understood it and enjoyed the text there is a check your understanding monkey see monkey do monkey connect on the Ed assignment tab okay those will both be up there I want you to do the check your understanding these are really easy just recall did you read it did you get what you were supposed to get out of it but once you've answered those again make sure that on your assignment page you mark finished or mark done I forget how Ed uh, how it looks on your end but make sure that you've told me that you finished it because that's how you're gonna get credit for some of the stuff that you're doing here is to make sure that you've marked it as done or marked it as finished okay so after you finish the check your understanding questions all right you're gonna flip back over over to the um, to the classroom assignment and there is going to be there's an assignment posted that is analyze the text questions for monkey see monkey do monkey connect okay so you're gonna open that up and that is uh, each student gets a copy so it's gonna be your own personal copy and what I did there was I told you to uh, remember that these prompts require in-depth responses as well as, as evidence from the text it's probably not a one sentence two sentence answer okay and I gave you a little expectation as to you know uh, four points apiece four point responses are on topic analytical and evidence based two point responses are you know maybe on topic uh, summary based not very much evidence and zero point responses are not on topic not based on evidence or show little understanding of the text okay so there's five questions there analyze cite evidence infer draw conclusions notice and note okay so there's five an an or, uh, analyze the text questions when you've done that okay you will almost be done with today's assignment almost okay make sure that piece gets turned in but if you notice so make sure that you turn in the analyze the text questions if you notice there's one more thing I want you to do that will kind of wrap up the lesson for the day and that is to complete a paragraph response to the text that you just read okay and you're gonna post it as a class comment on this assignment now I don't want it to be a private comment I want it to be a class comment Okay, so post a class comment on this assignment 
at least a paragraph. Remember, I don't like to be the guy who's counting sentences, but if you have four short, simple sentences, you probably haven't given me the kind of response I'm looking for, okay? So respond. What did you find interesting about it? What did you learn from it? What did you think? Eh, that didn't really seem to make sense to me uh, based on my experiences in life and that sort of thing, okay? So if you have read it and you've completed every uh, yellow box in the in the text itself, if you've done the check your understanding questions, if you've done the analyze the text questions, those are on classroom, it's your own document, okay? And then you've done a class comment with your response, okay? A reflection on the piece. Then you will have done everything I need you to do today for Monday, uh, March 30th, okay? Uh, so what I told you guys earlier in the expectations video, and again, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. In the expectations video, I said, be problem solvers, not problem describers. Now that's something you've heard me say a bunch already this semester. I want you to try to solve your own problems first, okay? I don't want you to throw your hands up and say, yep, I can't do it, it didn't work, okay? Try to solve the problem on your own. Try to solve the problem through the technological fixes that you have, you know, restarting your Chromebook, those sorts of things. Try that first. Then, if you can't figure out something, maybe try to Google your, your technology issue because a lot of times, if you have a problem with Google, Google has an answer to it because it's the same company, okay? Um, if you still have a question after that, then go ahead, reach out to me via Remind, reach out to me via email. Um, any one of those is fine, and I'll try to get your answer, um, an answer to you as soon as possible. If you're in fourth block, please include Mrs. Pierce on that. She, if she's right at her computer, she might be able to answer for you as well. Um, so I'm really excited to do this, guys. I, I hope that you guys find this useful. Um, I'm going to try to pick interesting readings. We'll do some writing stuff. There's a lot that we that we have yet to get to this semester, but um, let's start with this one that I think is really interesting. Um, give me your responses. Make sure you turn everything in. Mark everything is done. That's how you're going to get that credit um, to to show that A, you were here for attendance, and B, for your, your grade in power school. Okay? I got faith in all of you. I'm, I'm glad we're back at it. I know it's not in person. I know this is kind of a rough time, but uh, hopefully you're, you're, you're able to make the best of the situation. Be resilient. Okay, it's a, a quality that I think is, uh, is one that's really important as an adult is to be resilient. So uh, have a great week. We'll check in with you. I'll try to get these posted by 8 o'clock every day, and go Vikings.